hybrid barley. I outperformed the conventional two row barleys by the half ton per acre. And it's proven itself to me that we can get the yield year on year. The advantages in the yield are there, the suppression of grass weeds, an easier crop to mine throughout the year and the added benefits in the crop rotation. Hybrid barley seems to be proven itself with the yield potential for the last two years. It yields very well for me, very happy with it, sure. I wouldn't be going with it if I wasn't happy with it. The results I got from the merchant anyway, I got 200 kilos an acre or more out of it. I did get more straw out of it as well. We're growing hybrid barley here for five years. We're only sowing to maybe 90 to 100 kilos per hectare as opposed to 220 kilos per hectare with the two rows. We're also only putting in two fungicides instead of three. There's a number of growers would have ventured into the whole area of growing hybrids. They've seen the benefit in terms of yield, but more importantly as well, they've also seen the benefit from a disease resistance point of view as well. Disease resistance, we'd count it better. It's very easy to grow and there's no compromise in grain quality and getting the yields. I like growing the hybrid barley. It is relatively easy to grow. It is easier to control disease and it is not as prone to diseases as Turo. There is no difference in growing a hybrid and conventional Turo. Follow the same agronomy. You will probably have to spend a bit more on the grow regular, but you will spend a bit less on disease sprays. Compared to other crops, there's a lot less disease in it. I would say significantly less chemicals for disease. In particular, we're finding the hybrids very robust as regards resistance to straw breakdown. Straw quality was very good. Um, it was easy to compare because I had a two row variety beside it. It also bailed better. 10 to 12 round bales per acre is what we're getting and we're getting 12 to 14 of a hybrid barley. Hybrid barley, given their hybrid vigour, are more consistent and they will tolerate more extreme conditions. So a wet back end or a wet spring or land that isn't typically barley land. So they're a lot less volatile in my opinion than the two row. So I'd have no hesitation in recommending a grower to go out and buy Belfry Hybrid Barley. Belfry is number one on the DFM list and it's definitely a winner for me. We are definitely going to be growing more hybrids as we feel that we can push for the higher yields with them. I'd recommend hybrid barley to anyone at this stage. I'd have no problem recommending it to a neighbour to grow it for the season coming. Try 25% of your winter barley for next year and I don't think you'll be disappointed. You'll be going for 50 the year after.